Welcome back to Henry's Garage. Uh, in this episode we get this on temporarily and I've got a question at the end about um, if it's okay. We did try taking the water pump out of my spare engine um, but I couldn't get it out um, even with my slide hammer so um, but um, we certainly had a the, the other the other housing fitted on that engine much more snugly than this one was fitting on here. Um, I did try bringing the other one over here and it was slightly better than this but not a lot. I tried putting this one on the other engine and it was slightly worse than the other one so I decided to leave them as they are for now. Um, I suppose I could bring the other one over um, based on what people say about what I've done here and if they think that will be okay. So um, it's a really, I, I don't know how long this is, but it, there's not much in it. It's just me trying to get this sorted. Um, so I hope you enjoy. I appreciate the comments and anyone's thoughts and how to solve it. And uh, see you next time. Okay, the issue I need to fix is that the this is not going on fully. I'm wondering if it's the top versus the vein under here. I have another TR7 engine, courtesy of Chris Robinson. And oh, down there is the water pump housing so what we're going to do today is we're going to take off the um, carbs and we're going to see if we can get the housing off and see if the pump looks the same Okay, so these look very similar, as in the same. So, um, and this one, so this one would also fit right on there. Not any problems at all. That's a lot further in here than on the other one. So I'm going to pull this out and see if it goes into the other one any better than the one I have in there. Right, I've got two um, water pump covers here, housing, 
and they look the same. They both got the day the um, this stamping on um, PBM one PBM one. They've both got the Leyland stamp. This one though has VS V three three zero nine on it. This one doesn't. So if we look at this engine here. And that's where they go. So this is the one that came off here and you can see how well that sits down there. Okay, it goes in perfectly. And you can see with this one it's some way off. Yeah, you can see the gap. So I think I've got a problem here. Now I don't know if I've caused that problem in some way. Um, or if perhaps, I don't know, the housing isn't as thick. Maybe it's been skimmed off so it's sitting higher. Let's try measuring it. So what I'm wondering is if this thickness here um, is different to the same one here. So we're going to pick a couple of points. Start here. Let's zero it. And we'll be measuring in here. Where's my glasses? <coughs> That's inches now, I want it in mil, I find that easier. Okay, so here we are in millimetres. So that is 5.39, 5.3, when I'm putting pressure on it, 5.22. Okay, and this one, 4.6, wow, look at that difference. Okay, let's try over here. So we've got 7.77. Eight point two five. Okay. So the reason I can't get this to sit nicely is it's been um, it's clearly been um, ground off a couple of times in the past. I guess that would now I think that would make sense. Um, there is a very slight difference between the two here. We've got more of a lip on it here. So I don't know if they are actually a different design, maybe one's for a different car. But that does explain why we are not getting it low enough. Thinking about it, what's more important is this depth. So if we... Uh, if we measure that, they're looking pretty close to the same, to be honest. They're about 5.25 to 5.35. So actually, I don't think that is the problem. And in trying to get this one out, I have um, broken my um, sledgehammer tool, my slide hammer tool. And so I can't get this out, and I can't get the other one out any longer either. <laughs> um, so, and um, the threads have gone very slightly on the bottom of it, so that I've tried tried welding on new nuts to um, do it again, and I'm stuck. This is what I meant. So I welded a couple more nuts on here to get my um, slide hammer in there and so that it would pull out but it's just it's just coming out on the threads now so and um, both of my water pumps are well and truly stuck 
right, I'm measuring a gap here of 94 thou. That's in inches. All right, I want it to be between 10 and 25 thou. All right, so if 25, call, call it 95 at the moment, minus 25 is, is 70. And so uh, if I had 70 worth of gaskets, I'd get it down to 25. And if I had another 15, so 85 worth of gasket, I'd get it down to 0 0.1, uh, to 10. So I have got here a 10, a 20 and a 30. And I've got here a 10, a 20, and a 30. So if I did two 30s and a 20, 60, 70, 80, all right, that would put me at 15. So I'm going to put that on, but I'm not going to put any gasket maker or anything like that on. I'm going to put it to the torque. I'm going to see if the engine will still turn, and I'm going to see what you guys think. Right, so uh, that is on, and it's also, it's torqued down to 27 newton metres. And it's turning. Okay. And I've got... I've got... Um, Two thirties and a twenty on there, so I've got eighty. Um, which just, I mean, it just looks so. It looks so big, such a big gap. So that's what it is. Okay, so I'm going to stop here, and um, I would like some feedback on whether going with a gap, going with so much in terms of gaskets, will be okay. Because I'm going to, if I get a general feeling, oh my God, no, we'll take it off, um, and I'll have to work out something else. Uh, if I get general feeling one, oh, it should be okay because actually, you know, it's it's in the spec. Then I'll take it off. I'll put gasket maker on it to get good seal and put it back on. So that's the um, plan. So a bit of a nothing episode in many ways, but um, yeah, that's what I needed to do.